Hey, Brian Fouch here. And you ever felt overwhelmed or like stressed out or like you have too many things going on in your mind or in your life and you just don't know what to focus on or what to do? Now, uh, bottom line is we've all been there. I've been there many times in my life. And someone uh, taught me a, a, a strategy to really help with that that I want to share with you here in this video because it's something that um, can really help if you're like in business and there's just like a lot of things happening. Um, if you're having turmoil in your life, whether it's you know financial or personal, uh, maybe it's the holidays, right? The holidays and there's so much stuff going on. You got all these thoughts about what am, how are we going to prepare for the you know the Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner or whatever it is. Oftentimes we get overwhelmed. We feel this sense of just like pressure, and we don't really know what to happen. And sometimes for me especially, I used to kind of shut down. It's like I would I get all this kind of stuff going on. I wouldn't know what to do. So I just go and go somewhere else where it's quiet and I wouldn't really focus on anything. I wouldn't take action because I just felt like all these things were just jumbled in my, my mind. So here's what I do. Here's what I recommend doing as well. So um, you can do it on a whiteboard. I have a whiteboard over here on my wall that I do this on. I also, you can do it on a piece of paper or a pad of paper in your notebook, something like that. And it's called your to-do lists. And so what I often do is I'll say, okay, I have all these things that I know I've got to get done or I need to focus on or need to do. So a couple things you can do is just start writing them all out, right? A list of all the things that you're, are in your head that you feel like you have to get done or are requiring your attention. But here's the thing. When you look through that list, probably there's a good chance that some of those things you don't have to do right now. You don't have to do those today. Maybe not even this week. There, there's something that has to be taken care of maybe next week or the week after. And so what I prefer to do is I want to identify the things that I need to do right now. Like it's either I need to do it today. So I, you can do this daily or weekly, however you want to do it. But these are the things I need to focus on right now, like this week or today. Then the other things I look at and say, okay, which ones can I do later? Which things that I don't need to really focus on right now? And so what you're essentially doing, you're prioritizing the things that you've got to spend time on, you've got to give attention or focus or energy to. And so I have a to-do later list. These are the things that I, I need to do at some point in my life or this week or this month, but I, they're, they're, they're not today. They're not pressing, right? So I'm going to put those off to uh, later. And then I have another list, a third one, which is not to do. This is the list of things that I just, you know what? They're not even, they should, they should not even be on my radar right now. Just, just put them on that not to do list because I'm a, sometimes a shiny object person. Things will come into my life. I'm like, oh, let me think about that. And I'll give that thing energy or attention. But if I sit back and look at it and ask myself, should I really be giving any attention to that? Is it going to provide me the, the outcome today or right now that I want? Or is it going to help move me forward or not? Or is it going to distract me? And oftentimes, that idea, that concept, that strategy, or whatever it is, or that idea just needs to be put on that not-to-do list. And that is one that I use quite a bit now, is that not-to-do list. So that's really what I recommend doing is, is if, like, let's say you like, this week is busy. Okay, what are the things that you need to do today? And then what are the things that you can do later this week? Like the, maybe it's tomorrow or the following day. Really quickly write those things out and then give your attention to the do, to, to the to do now list. The other list is still there, but don't focus on it. So what that does is it helps you prioritize the main things you need to focus on today or this week. So I, I call that the to do lists. And as I said, I have mine on a whiteboard. You can do it in a journal or something like that. But it's a great strategy to really reduce overwhelm and help you focus on those things that you can really move forward today or this week or whatever that time frame is for you. So with that, uh, take care. Hey, if you guys want to learn more about this kind of stuff, go to brianfaust.com. You can opt in there or you can hit follow below or something like that. But with that, take care and I'll see you in the next video.